first and foremost, I want to congratulate all the internet heroes who've made it a business, made it a life business or a life choice to do what they've done. I'd like to congratulate y'all for the stuff y'all have done. Um, main reason I continue to still do videos throughout the odds is because one, I choose to. Secondly, I love Jesus and I love, you know, what he have shown me. Cause there's a lot of losers amongst us. Thirdly, I love the people that are willing to listen. Cause I ain't, I ain't here to sugarcoat it, folk. And I'm definitely not here to take sides on religions, to take sides on um, different co different ways of how people live. Well, anyway, I'd like to congratulate the internet heroes from the hackers all the way down to the crooked polices, all the way down to the regular people. The reason I'm I'm even doing this topic, I want to show y'all some stuff and to let you know um for the heroes out there that made it their business to uh made their jobs a lot more easier at that. The stuff they doing, you know, when it come to certain stuff. Instead of going out there and, and really um fighting real crime. Now, I know most people may say, well, you you know, uh, you have people who make videos, but they don't do the footwork. Or they don't do this, or they or they don't do that. They always going to be an excuse to what you do, people. So you never mind. You never mind them. If you can do it, continue doing what you're doing and do it. Well, anyway, I want to take y'all back real quick to, um, because every time I see heroes out here, especially if you're fighting for the other side, you know, you got heroes out here, I always want to bring y'all back to Jesus. I always bring y'all back to Jesus. Why? Because he was the best to do it. And the reason I'm even bringing up Jesus is to let y'all know, like, before there was any, even the first cell phone, the first beeper, before there was any of that stuff, the best already came and they died. From your David's to your Jonathans, to your Samsons, to your Moses. They already came, people. And many more after that, and they already died. And it was documented that their wisdom, their knowledge, the stuff that they did and they knew was way, way more far advanced than technology. Even the people who helped build the Egypt, you know, that stuff in the desert that's on the dollar. Even for the people that did those architects. Even though it was evil, pure evil, the majority of it. The documentation and the stuff. Like just, just look at the Bible. Imagine if we had the real full, full Bible. Look how that was documented. Everything come in the past. Am I right or am I wrong? Now you have internet heroes in the world. Well, you know, not only do they go out and they kill women. They kill kids. They seek people's lives and makes crooked cops' jobs a lot easier because they target certain people, especially when you're speaking the truth. They target you. Though, you, you know, y'all folks should be ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself. Because look at it like this. Imagine all of the old celebrities that, that are now gone. I'm just using them for an example. I'm just lo using them for an example, losers. Imagine if the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, if we had the same technology, the same internet access that we got now. And imagine if uh, people like Martin Luther King, Tupac, any of those folks that's dead, imagine if they had the same platform. A lot of y'all wouldn't even be making movies. A lot of folks wouldn't be making the stuff that they're making. Now, I know most people may say, well, that was then, this is now. You can put Jesus in that same perspective, right in that same perspective. Jesus was here right now in the same position that he was in many, many years ago with the technology. A lot of people be gone. You know, if Moses had it, if John and any one of them, a lot of people wouldn't even be doing what they doing. But people, you know, they become heroes. Superman status, Justice League and all this type of stuff, Avengers. They become heroes and then they feel like, you know, they done something. Especially when it comes to uh, targeting people's lives and killing. Never mind the, the bullying and all of the cyber attacks and all of that type of stuff. I ain't even talking about that. I'm just talking about internet heroes. Because uh, from your phones all the way down, you know, because phones got internet too. 
And people are doing the most snakiest, creepiest stuff in these times. You know, think about this. If you ain't set no platform for yourself, you know, using the technology, and if you got kids, your kids grow up, and they have kids, or even for yourself, you want to go back and look at some of the work you did, it's all trash and evil. Just think about it. Unless that's what certain people who are born evil will play it off like they're good and represent Jesus. Unless that's what y'all like to do. Well, just think about the platform that, that you've set. Nothing good. I just want to congratulate y'all. You know, if I had a candle, I would give all of y'all candles and cakes. Because uh, you should make a wish. Honestly. For you losers out there. I understand. God gave us this stuff to help you, to help one another. Don't listen to these losers that say, oh, you know, technology make you smarter and, and all of this type of stuff. Because you got to look at what already transpired. The best already was gone. So imagine if you put them here or if you, you know, just think back. If they have what we had, would they take advantage of it? Most of them folks probably wouldn't even took the route of selling their soul. But not only do people sell their soul, they take advantage of the necessities that you got to reach out to more people. And that's why I say y'all should congr congratulate yourselves. Because you're a pure loser compared to other people who had to get it from nothing. You're a loser. It's written. Satan's a loser. The angels fell with them. They're losers. And the people that run behind them are losers. They just feel like they're putting in a lot of... They feel like they're doing something. And in the end, you're not doing nothing. Nothing. I thought about this stuff. I'm like, even even myself. The only reason I say I'm one of the best, once again, is because Jesus is the best. And if you're walking with Jesus, you you going to feel the same way. You know, Jesus ain't going to make you feel like you're you not the best amongst this game we playing, this deadly game we playing against the demon. If you wasn't, think about it, if you wasn't one of the best, if you were listening, you wouldn't have made it to where you made it so far. But the spiritual thing is, if you have the wisdom of Jesus and the knowledge, then you already know. You already know what time it is. You already know these are the end times. They just trying to reach out to more and more, more kids as they can. More and more kids as they could. You know, it's all about reeling in lost souls and kids. And the people that's willing to, you know, get back on their side. I just wanted to do this topic. I let folks know, once again, congratulate y'all. Continue doing what you're doing. You're doing a wonderful job by helping destroy the people. Keep it up. Before you know it will be, things will be even closer to what you expected. But just know you're a loser. And the best have already come and gone. There's already, there's still people here fighting y'all, you know, and look what, look what people doing with the necessities, as if you don't have kids, as if you don't have a family, grandparents, mom, dad, you know how it is as a cop when you kill, when you kill some, somebody, you don't think your family look at you different, your kids, your mom, your dad, your grandmother, you don't think they look at you different? Or, or you don't care. Which one is it? When you're a crooked lawyer, same goes for you. Your kids don't look out. You just don't tell them. You don't tell them. I understand. You don't have to tell them. They'll find out. They're going to get old, older one day. You're going to be left with either the husband. Both of y'all miserable. Now y'all breaking each other down spiritually. Or you're just going to be left if, by yourself. Even matter. The demon, oh yeah, the demons even matter at that point. Most of them are old masons, demons. You get it? They've tried to school and keep their uh, teachings in place. School the kids, stuff like that. Use you for material, stuff like that. Most of the kids, they, you know, they kids, they innocent, they don't know. You know, you want that new iPad, that new bike. That candy, them shoes, you want to go to Water Rapids, you want to go to Orlando, Disney World, they don't know. 
but it, but you guys are losers at the end of the day. Even a child can understand what I'm saying. People in the Bible, from your from your biggest entrepreneurs, the ones you know who sold out without the technology, was more known. Was more known than people who have the technology and more relevant, made more sense in the stuff that they made. Because not every TV show is evil. Not every artist is evil. Not every mover maker is evil. You know, this world is being controlled by evil. Divide and conquer. Divide all nations and conquer. So once again, I just wanted to just share this. Just let people know, man, you know, it's time for... We're not going to even say change no more. It's time for you to understand. Understand what's going on. And if you get Jesus in your life, if people keep Jesus and understand that, then you'll understand that none of us, neither me, you, him, millions to come after us, God, for, you know, hoping, none of them folks, will, none of us will ever compare to Jesus. So we put them in the same position. That knowledge alone. You understand? The knowledge alone. The wisdom alone. They're the ones toward us. We put the Bible on the internet. That's the stuff we was taught, we just put it on gadgets. You know? And the more y'all block the good people, the worse it'll become. Y'all already know the outcome. But just know. Know who the best was. Know who the best of the people was. And even in these times, know who the best was. Because it's not you. Anyway, my name is Joshua. I'd like to thank y'all for listening. I'm out.